there. This is the treatment. This is the second part of it now. I've already put one of these these in now and it's about two weeks later I'd say maybe 13 days later and I'm putting in the second one now just to give it to, yeah. to finish off the treatment. So this I have to do and this I have to do so I'm just gonna I've no smoker in there today because I don't really need it to be honest I'm just gonna yeah, you're just gonna throw that in and chuck it in basically so taking off the roof that's what's going on there you can see there like that that one's empty this one had like white powdery stuff in it, crystallized stuff, and now it's all kind of gone basically you now. And uh, so I'm just going to put in the second one, but you, you're supposed to leave this one in there as well. You know, I mean, you might just hate like you leave that second first one in as well. So you just, don't take that. I just leave it in there until the two of them are basically uh, finished. So I'll just open this up here and I'll show you. Let's see what it looks like. That's very sticky. It's really like a gel kind of a thing. Yeah. See it there. Just want to make sure it's opened fully and then uh, you don't, uh, you put this like a uh, seal lid thing in with it as well because there will be time all stuff on this as well so you want to yeah. leave that in when you're putting it in. I'm just going to put that to the side there for a second. I'm just going to crack open this top bit. <laughs> Already glued it. Uh. Already glued back together in no time. I'm just going to slip it in. And how many treatments do you have to give them? Just the one treatment a year. Kind of uh, after the honey flow is kind of done with. Just you want to get this kind of over the, the nest kind of area so they'll come along and kind of heat, heat it up, you know. So I'm just going to kind of try and Put it on the top there. And then that's it really. Yeah, what are you going for? Yeah. And you can't really see it all that well, but if you get in there and you can kind of like you see they'll, they'll they'll pick a little bit of that up and bring it down through the hive to try and get rid of it, but then it'll kinda of sublime throughout the hive then it will get around all the bees. Yeah. And that'll uh, that will kinda of hopefully kill off the varroa. I mean the varroa load on them isn't all that bad to be honest, like they're not really people say they don't have varroa but everyone has varroa at this stage like so you just have to treat them as a precaution rather than chancing it like because you might yeah. make, mightn't make it through the winter then they'll get all it's like having leeches on them like but you can see them there and they're going a bit mad at it like already like they're kind of going oh what the hell is this like you know trying to get rid yeah they're looking, looking at it going what's this thing, new thing in the hive we don't want that in the hive so what they'll do is they'll take a little bit and they'll bring it down through the hive and dump it out the bottom kind of thing but that'll kill off the varroas as they're heading down and it'll all that vapor will get around and kill them off that's how you've won. See, it really has to do for our treatment for that one. And, uh, put that back on. And, uh, I'll do the records for it later then so they're, it's all documented and whatnot. This is the second one. This is the more active hive, isn't it? Yeah. And even there, you can see in this one here, they haven't really finished all the stuff off. You can see all the crystal -y stuff is still there. Yeah. But they're still in there eating it, like, but it doesn't really matter. Even if there's still still some left, you still want to put in the second treatment after about uh, two weeks. And yeah. then just leave, leave the two tins in there. And then they'll, uh, they'll work away at it themselves. It's just so they have, um, because it just goes with the cycle of the way the, uh, the Varroa hatches its eggs and lays in with the same little laid in the, in the baby. Uh, cells that are fresh bees and you just have to kind of do a treatment over a full cycle of uh, nesting laying eggs kind of thing like so just, that's yeah. kind of how it works that's and that's it. a jelly substance is it yeah it's like a kind of like a jelly pasty kind of thing you see there like, like that's kind of what it and is and then there. it crystallizes when the air hits it does it kind of goes crystally yeah uh, yeah, well, it'll kind of sublime like it'll be thirty odd degrees, thirty plus degrees inside the hive when it's yeah. warm. Like so, that will kind of that will kind of vaporize then a little bit. But the bees will come in and eat, eat a little bit, or take try and take a little bit out, you know, and bring it down through the hive and stuff. Yeah, and that's kind of how it's kind of how it disperses around the hive rather than going in and spreading it everywhere. Like you just the bees will do it for yeah, you. Kind the of bees thing. will do the work. Yeah, it's basically like so. I'm just gonna crack this one open here and uh, release that in real quick. 
I don't want to disturb them even all that much, so I'm just going to put this just in there. Slide it in. Yeah, just throw it in there. Slide it across the top of them there. Just nice and gently with them, like, you know, let them get out of the way and stuff like that. Leave that in there now. And that's that one done then. Just uh, chuck it in on top there, and then there's that little that little gap then between the the top of the boards by this uh, here, this thing. Yeah. That's just so it has a little bit of airflow current around it, so there's a little bit of space that the bees can get up and, and, and work on it. Look. Yeah. That's it really then, that's that done. Mm -hmm. That's the treatment. Yeah. And you only have to give them the two of these, you won't be putting any more of this in. Well that's it now, I'll just that's leave it that then. there for about another uh, probably four weeks or a month or so, I'll just leave that in there even when it looks like it's gone, I'll just leave it for another week just to be sure. Yeah. And uh, take it out then and that's the that's the treatment done for this year. And they should be fairly okay, that should kill off a good 90% of the bra that's in it, like, and then there might be one or two that will... But it should, in theory, it should kill off all the bras. But then uh, if the bees are out and about and they come into contact with other bees that have varroa, like they can get transferred fairly easily, like yeah. they're real sociable kind of creatures, like so the, the varroa mite will just jump onto the, the bees, one of the bees here, and that'll bring varroa mites back in, and then they'll just get infested again essentially, like so you just have to treat them every year, or all the time, like you know, this is yeah. a, an organic treatment, like so it's not the, it doesn't harm the bees or harm the queens or anything like that, like I've heard of ones that you can get that are real uh, toxic. Yeah, toxic, yeah. When you're, Chemicals when you're, when you're applying it. it, like you have to put on a, like a hazmat suit and all this sort of stuff, you kind of go with it. If I put on a hazmat yeah. suit, it can't be good for the can't bees. Can't be good for the bees, like, you know, then. So they don't get to put little suits think, on. Yeah, uh, that's the one to use, you know, that AP guard one is the, seems to be the most kind of, most kind of, what is it, like, uh, the best one, the best one to use, I think, you know. Yeah, it's best for the bees. Yeah. Best for the bees, mm. best for the beekeeper, it's easy, easy to apply, like there's no, mm. like, it's not hassle, it's not, it's handy there, it takes two two minutes, not even, open up the hive, throw it in. And that's it. And then the, the bees water, do the rest of the work. Yeah, and do all the work for you then, that's what you, that's what you want to be doing, being a mm. beekeeper, you don't want to, doing mountains of work yourself, you want the bees to do all the work for you basically, so. Yeah. That's it there, yeah, that's, that's the done. treatment done for the year. Yeah. Have a look Sweet. at the front of these hives. Didn't have to use any small condom, right? You mm -hmm. see that they're still all calm and they're just coming and going. Probably didn't even know I was in there. It's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm.